When the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force converged on an apartment complex in Sacramento, they knew they had a high-level target. Prosecutors say not only was 45-year-old Omar Amin a hitman for ISIS and al-Qaeda, he was also a founding member of al-Qaeda in Iraq and a high-ranking ISIS terrorist. Court records show that back in 2012, Amin fled Iraq to Turkey, where he applied to be accepted as a U.S. refugee. He was granted that status in June of 2014, the very same time that ISIS had taken over the Anbar province of Iraq. So instead of going directly to the United States, a Baghdad federal court says he came back to Iraq and shot and killed an Iraqi police officer who was lying on the ground. ISIS later boasted about the killing on social media. Five months after that attack, Omar Amin was living in the U.S. Resettlement agencies certainly try to thoroughly vet refugees, including medical exams and biometric checks, but because many countries don't have extensive documents on their citizens, a complete background check is nearly impossible. The U.S. often relies on the refugee's own story, in other words, the honor system. Experts say Omar Amin is a prime example of why President Trump implemented the travel ban. Watch. That refugee application was replete with lies and misrepresentations as to his background, character, and past actions with respect to terrorism in the Middle East. The FBI has interviewed at least eight witnesses who identify Omar Amin and his father, brother, and cousins as being affiliated with al-Qaeda and ISIS, and who are believed to have planted numerous improvised bombs in an effort to kill coalition troops in Iraq. Because he's a flight risk, Amin is being held in Sacramento without bail. He will likely be extradited to Iraq in the next few weeks to stand trial for murder. He could face the death penalty. Sandra. Trace Gallagher, thank you.